Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today we are going to be getting a new pet to go down here in the fish room. It's not a fish, it's not a turtle, it's not a frog, but it is a crawfish. I've been talking for a while now about how I want to get another pet crawfish. I've had a few in the past and they've done very well and I just loved having them. They're just so cool to watch on the bottom of the tank, walking around, scavenging for food, and I just miss having one. But all the crawfish I have owned in the past have all been red and this one is not going to be red. It is indeed going to be blue. That's the color I want. That's the color most of you guys wanted as well. So we are getting a blue crawfish today and it is going to be living in our brand new guppy breeding tank i set this up either one or two videos ago and as you can see it is just doing amazing all the fish in there are doing great and i just cannot wait to see a blue crawfish walking around on the bottom of this tank if you guys watched that video where we set up that guppy breeding tank then you saw the exact blue crawfish that we are getting today assuming it's still there it was there like a few days ago and let me tell you this thing is beautiful the blue color on this guy is so bright i'll be showing a little clip of him right now i cannot wait to see this guy in my own tank. So we are going to head to the pet store here in a little bit to pick him up. But first I do want to throw you guys back to last week. Whenever we moved one of my angel fish out of this little 10 gallon tank that he was staying in temporarily, we moved him over to my girlfriend Tori's tank. And I also just give you guys a little update on that tank. So I'm going to roll that clip right now. All right guys. So we are over here at Tori's. And first of all, before we put the angel fish in here, I'll just show you the tank. As you can see, this thing is just looking absolutely amazing. The water is just crystal clear. All the plants are growing in really well. And all the fish in here look super healthy. Healthy. You can see there is the angelfish that was in the 55 with the cichlids, but I did take him over here because the cichlids beat him up. And now we got his partner, Angelica, right there in the pitcher, ready to go in the tank. Real quick before we put her in, I am going to feed these fish just so they kind of give her some space when she's going in. So now I'm going to go into the pitcher and net her out. And here we go. Into the tank she goes. And there she is right there, already looking pretty good. It's definitely going to take her a little bit of time to get adjusted to this new tank. Oh, is she already going up for some food? Wow, look at that. Already eating literally seconds after being put in here. And yeah, I'm sure she's just gonna love it in this tank. But now we are gonna head back over to my house and continue doing whatever we're doing. So now that you guys have seen that, we are pretty much gonna head right on over to the pet store and pick up our new blue crawfish. But that's not the only thing we're getting today. I'm also gonna keep an eye out for some more live plants at the store. But I also think I wanna get a few fancy guppies to go in this guppy breeding tank. And we're gonna see if we can get them to breed as well. And I've also heard that you can breed fancy guppies with common guppies and form like mixes. So hopefully this store has some pretty cool looking guppies we can pick up. Oh, and then also while we're out and about, I am going to run over to Home Depot and pick up like a wooden sheet that we can put right here. Then I'm gonna get a couple hinges to go on this piece of wood. So that'll form like a flipping up door. So that should look really good. So yeah, we've got quite a few things we need to do today. So we're gonna head out to those stores and I'll see you when we're there. All right guys, so I'm here at Home Depot picking up the wood sheet and the hinges, that little door cover above the tank. And I found the wood sheet I'm going with, the half inch by two foot by two foot. All right guys, just got done inside we've got our wood sheet right here and then i also did remember i needed some spray paint so i got that then i got two packs of these hinges so we got everything we need for that little cupboard door and we'll build that later but now we're gonna head over to the pet store and pick up our new blue crawfish all right guys we just got done inside the pet store and we got him. They even put him in this nice little plastic container for me. Look at this crawfish, dude. Not only is he a beautiful blue, but he's also got like awesome designs on him. You'll obviously see it a lot better once he's in the tank. But yeah, just like look at the side of his body right there. Just crazy looking. And then we did also get four common guppies. I believe it's two males and two females. So hopefully these guys will breed. Got two with like those yellow tails. I think those are the females. And then the like completely colorful ones should be the males. So we're also going to get these guys home. We're going to get everything into the tank and I'll see you when we get there. Alrighty guys, we are back home. We've got our crawfish and guppies right here and we are just gonna go right ahead and let them start acclimating. So we're gonna put them in the water just like this. And there is a look at the crawfish in the container. I cannot wait to see him roaming free in this tank. So we're gonna give them about 20, 25 minutes to acclimate, then they'll be ready to go in the tank. Alrighty guys, so it has now been just about 30 minutes actually. So we are going to get our guppies and crawfish into their new tank. But before we do that, I actually want to put this barrel in there. Because at the pet store, this guy was hiding like the whole time, every time I saw him. So I want to give him like a definitive hiding spot in this tank. I mean like he could, I guess, tuck under the driftwood or something. But I want to give him something similar to what he had at the pet store. So this barrel is supposed to like stand up like this, but I'm actually going to lay it down like this. And what I think I want to do is actually scoot that rock over 
over to the left and then I'm gonna put this barrel like under the substrate right here. I think it'll look really good like that. So I'm just gonna do that off camera real quick and then we will be ready to put these guys into the tank. Alrighty guys, check this out. I just buried that barrel under the substrate in this little corner and it looks absolutely perfect right there. I already know our crawfish is going to love it. And with that being said, it is time to put him and the new guppies into this tank. We are going to start with our guppies, so I'm gonna dump them into this net and into the new tank they go. Dang, dude, look how much they stick out, especially that orange one. And we got like the gold one down there. But now, the moment we have all been waiting for, we are gonna put our new blue crawfish into this guppy breeding tank. Here we go. I'm just gonna grab him so we like don't have to, okay, never mind. I guess I'm not gonna grab him. No, I'm gonna grab him. I'm not about to be outsmarted by a crawfish. Okay, maybe I am. All right, I got him. And there he goes. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at that crawfish. Oh my gosh, he looks so cool in there. And I thought he was going to look a lot bigger in here. I was kind of concerned about his size and him like being too big for this tank. But if you take a look, I mean, he's got plenty of space to roam around in here. Eventually, if he does get any bigger, then we can move him to a bigger tank. But we're going to see how he likes it in this tank for now. And again, just look at this dude. He is so awesome looking. And I want to see like how fast he finds his cave. I know that that's going to be his home. That's where he's going to hang out like all the time. But Let's see if he can find it. Oh, looks like he's making his way across the back of the tank, checking out the filter intake, trying to go under it. All right, he's starting to work his way through the middle of the tank. Let's see if he likes the driftwood. He very well may choose like under the driftwood over this cave. Let's see, that's where he's going right now. Oh, he is tipping the driftwood. Dude, look at that though, that's so cool. He's like burrowing under the driftwood. Yo, that is awesome. I'm honestly cool with him choosing that over the cave. He looks so cool in there and he stopped moving. Looks like he's just chilling in there. Looks like he might be on the move. I really want him to find that cave over there. I know he will eventually, but I want to like get it for the first time on camera. Oh, looks like he's heading over that way, kind of. Oh, snap. He's going in. Look at that. Let's go. Let's go. Right as I was saying how badly I want him to go. He listened to me. He heard me, bro. And look, he fits awesome in there. He has plenty of space. He's turning around. He has room to turn around in there. Look at that, dude. That is so cool. Look at him poking out of it. That's exactly what I envisioned for this tank. Oh my gosh, dude. Dang, he's already leaving though. Yeah, he said I'm out of here. I'm gonna go explore the rest of this tank, bro. Yeah, now we can get a real good look at his designs. Look at that, dude. How is this thing even real? I already know this crawfish is gonna be one of you guys' favorite animals on the channel. So obviously we gotta name him. So go ahead and drop some name suggestions down in the comments. His name should probably have something to do with like being blue, but it doesn't have to. Like we can name him Stanley or or something normal like that. Oh, is he climbing the filter? Look at this dude go. He is literally exploring every square inch of this tank right now. And we are gonna give him plenty of time to explore and get used to his new tank. And I'll update you guys on him later, like maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. I'll definitely do an update tomorrow and we're gonna try and feed him. But if he doesn't eat tomorrow, then I'll just eventually get a clip of him eating and throw it in this video as well. But yeah. We got our blue crawfish, guys. I am so excited to have him, and I'm probably going to sit down here for like the next hour and just look at him. But I don't know when I'm going to see you guys next, but whenever it is, I'll see you then. All right, guys, so it is actually now three days later, and yes, I am rocking the man bun for the first time on the channel. Hope y'all like it. But let's go ahead and take a look at our new crawfish. Well, first of all, you can see I actually cut out those little flip-up doors I was talking about. I did two of them just in case we eventually set up a 10-gallon right there. Still need to sand and paint those and then mount them to the stand, and we'll do that here in a sec. But first of all, there is our new blue crawfish all snuggled up under the driftwood. That has been his main spot, either there or like actually on top of the driftwood. He likes chilling up there. I've seen him in the barrel a couple times he doesn't really like it too much though but a couple exciting things did happen in this tank first of all if you take a look right up here we do have our first baby guppies in the tank there's either four or five of them if i counted correctly there's another one right back there then i'm sure the others are just in hiding somewhere in here but something else pretty cool that happened in this tank if you take a look right back there our new blue crawfish did molt for the first time and also that was really quick he's only been in here for like three days but yeah it looks like the molt went good his claws are actually looking like a a lot bigger now i can definitely tell a difference and yeah his colors are absolutely beautiful i wish he would come out from under the driftwood so we could get a better look but i don't want to disturb him right now he's just he's chilling big time look at him oh yeah and then also we did throw a few more plants in here you can see a couple more anubius plants on this dragon stone that one was already there but i did throw in these two and then that plant right back there is also new and then just a little update on the fancy guppies we just got they're all doing good there's our orange one right here here's our yellow one up top so yeah everyone is doing really well 
well in this tank so far. I did feed the crawfish the past couple nights. The only thing I've gotten him to eat are algae wafers. That's what they said they fed him at the pet store. And he has been eating those. I got a little clip of him picking at that whenever it broke down. I dropped in a worm for him a couple days ago and he did not even look at it. And then I also dropped in a little piece of carrot and he did not touch that either. So I am going to experiment with other foods, but right now I know he does eat algae wafers, so that's good. And yeah, pretty much the last thing I want to do in this video is finish up those little doors. I'm going to sand them, paint them, and then connect them to the stand. So if you're into woodworking and stuff like that, then feel free to stick around. But we are pretty much done with fish stuff. But yeah, let's just get right into that. Alrighty guys, I just finished up those little doors and I am very happy with how they turned out. They open and close really smoothly. I think eventually I might get a couple little handles to go like right here so I don't have to like push on it from the back. And then also I think I definitely want to get like one big door right here just to hide the filter. But yeah, that's definitely a nice addition to this stand. But now that pretty much is going to wrap up this video and today's comment of the day goes out too. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I am gonna see you in the next video.